So what I was thinking today is that I seen that these descriptions here and they talk about uh, when the Christianity came here, they destroyed a lot of the tombs. You know, they destroyed all a lot of the monuments and statues and things like this. You you know? I know, but it's not all about them, I think. Well, in not general. just Christian, but religious no, no, no. people. All, all the time when the religious people would come in, of they course. would destroy the tombs, statues, the temples, temple buildings, temple because buildings. Religion, religion changed. Right, right. Okay, religion so... Changed. Demolished. Right. So... What I was thinking today is that look at what's happening in America right now with all, everyone taking all the statues down uh -huh. and and taking all and destroying all the people's tombs uh -huh. and you know graffiti changing the descriptions and, and inscriptions of things you know same as what's happened here in over wars. So the next thing that is what will be the next religion? <laughs> <laughs> so I think the next religion will be the satanic religion, the satanic. Yes, satanic. Yeah, because that's the new religion that's coming out, you know, especially in America. Uh -huh. And I think, but I, I don't know. It just was in my mind when I was thinking about it and I was reading. I was like, wow, you know, they, they you know, people in America act like, Oh man, they're destroying all the tombs and taking all the statues down like it's the first time in history it's been done or something. <laughs> this has been going on for thousands of years, changing and changing and changing. So I was thinking, what what do you think? I mean, in general, even, you know, uh, I agree with you some some way. Uh, every cultural change, religious change, that, were that kind of things, you know, like 385 after Christ. Edict of Milan. You heard about? The Edict, From Co Edict of Milan. Edict? A declaration. A declaration. Oh, a declaration. About the religion. Uh, no more pagan temples. No more pagan god. It, because everything this was changed. 300 AD. 385, like. Uh. This is from uh, Istanbul. Oh, okay. Byzantium Empire, I mean. Yeah. Okay, so, what happened? They demolished the temple building, I mean, like we have, replaced with the other building. Or, in general, something happened like this. After they destroyed the temple site, other things as well, the original pieces reused by the people, recycled, to build another city upon the hill. But the right, right. <laughs> But now they're not reusing nothing. They're just yeah. <laughs> they're just dumping everything in the ocean, yeah. or yeah. you know destroying it. But they're not they're not reusing it for nothing. But yeah. but even still, the principle behind it is, you know, the whole plot is they need they need to change something. Yeah. You know. So we already have all of our major religions nowadays. So it's just you know my question was like, who what's going to be the new religion? <laughs> I don't know really. Well, at I least in know. America, you know, it's just I crazy. Think, I think <laughs> the nature decide that. I think so. The nature will. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, the nature or a bunch of politicians getting rich, you yeah, know, like George so. Soros paying so. all these people to destroy this stuff. Same as the Pegamist and the Romans paid their missionaries and their people to go and destroy other cities and then oh we will make you a king you get your people and this and that it's the same routine been going on for thousands of years it hasn't changed you know these countries like america go into other countries and and kill off the main person put in their own person and then everything changes during that time that this person is you know, the king, prime minister, president, they're all the same, you know, and then they change and then they, uh, you know, make them powerful, make them rich. It's all about money, fame. I think what so, is yeah. this? Uh, Plum? This is peaches. peaches. Oh. Uh, do you know what uh, we call nectarin? Oh, Holy they're... ripe. Nectarin. Nectarin. Huh. Like holy drinks for the Greek god. Peaches uh, soon, like normal July after the second week. Hmm. 
In the church back there, was that uh, fig trees? In fig the trees. Uh, fig trees. In the um, Mary Church? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I tasted one and then I was like, yeah, this kind of uh, tastes like fig. But uh, fig, but you know, uh, it is male fig. Uh, and very old. Them. We don't eat them. Uh, it is a little bit wild. I see. No, no, this is the region for the fig market in Turkey. But a little bit far away. There is a city we call Aydın. It is still early, July, August. But it is now the season for peaches slowly coming up. Huh. Yeah, but this is weird well, color peaches. I've never I seen, I only see peaches. What peach is your name? Thor. 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 Like the god of thunder. Ah, yes, <laughs> Ahmed. Uh, it, look at the color of nature, beautiful right now. Oh, it's so beautiful, amazing. I mean, there's no, look. there's no chemtrails in the sky. Yes, look. Yeah? Over there, those are the crack from the several earthquakes. Oh, that's the crack from the earthquake. Another one on the other side. Yeah, I went to the several other side, yeah. I think probably like epicenter for the city. Yeah. So like the other side is where the um, the three people, the seven people, whatever it's called. Uh, seven sleepers. Yeah, the seven sleepers, it yeah. Is, it is a story, goes back 262 AD, 60, 262 AD. An emperor from Rome, Decius. A dictator of Rome. You know, they were early Christian. Well, original six men, brother from Ephesus, a Christian, accepted Christianity. But what happened? They were an edict again from Rome, from Italy, by the emperor. Wherever you see Christian, it's not official yet, religion, 260 AD. Murder them. They were like some way, I mean, like, for the Christian, wherever they saw, they killed them. Six men of Ephesus, when they heard about this, it is the story behind, they ran away from the city. They left Ephesus. Right. But, behind, but they, didn't, they didn't go that far. I mean, but you know what happened? The story continued like this. They met with a shepherd. And then they asked the shepherd somewhere safe to hide themselves. Yeah, so just go to the back I side mean, of the mountain, run huh? Run away from the soldiers, <laughs> Roman Empire, not to be killed by them. Uh. Of course, you know the shepherd, they know the best places where to hide. A little cave. It was not a cave, it was a crack. Right. From the earthquake. Right, right. They get in there. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that's not really hiding themselves too much because they're I mean, still inside of Ephesus. Yes, yes, but... <laughs> uh, then, uh, after talking to the guy, the shepherd, the six men, brothers, they saw that he is a man like them, a Christian of Ephesus, believe Christianity. Right. Then, then what happened? They get into the cave, the crack over there. But three, four days later on, you know what happened? In Ephesus, they learn about the guy, where they were hiding themselves, the soldier. They went to there, to the cave, to the crack. They saw them, they found them in there. And then they say like this, they have a wall in front, a wall yeah. they built. I mean like no way out for the seven men inside the cave. And they shout them, you die in there. Then what happens? They, some they, some they, say, some say. They lit them on fire. 200 years, they fall asleep in there, in the crack. No way out, I mean, like. But, no, no. <laughs> my friend, this is interesting. We don't know true or not. These are the stories. Right, right, just I stories, mean, like. right. But in Quran... I'm pretty sure they killed them. I, I am sure as well, but... Right. Uh, but, what happened? Some say it's 200 years. But in Quran, in Islam, Islam says in Quran, our holy book, we made them sleep 309 years. It's a different version, I mean, like we have. After 309 years, they woke up, the guy, seven men. But oh, they, yeah? In the Quran it says that? Yes, the Quran says, I that, mean. That, that they but, woke up, huh? Yes, but this is interesting. These are oral <laughs> tradition, not written down. So, can it be different? Of course. Some way, in different culture, you listen the same story, but sometimes different way. Huh. Because foretold different ways, from mouth to mouth, from ear to ear. Right. 
Right, everything could be different, and right? Different way. So they said we are hungry. What happened? They sent one brother back to Ephesus forward to buy something to eat. He was back to Ephesus, but Ephesus not there anymore after 309 years. In his pocket, some money. He was looking for somewhere to buy food. He went there. Look, Kelchuk, the town center. Yeah. A new city over there. Yeah. 300 years later. Ah. He was <laughs> ah, looking so. pretty ugly with the old dress, the guy I mean, like the dirty as well. He was in some shop to buy some cheese, food, the bread. But whenever he was paying the money to the shopkeeper, they asked him, where did you find the money? It's the treasury, reverse side of money, the head of emperor disuse. Ah. You know, we know them in general from right. the head of emperor right. even today. So they followed the guy back to the crack over there, back to the cave, and they found them, the rest of them, just in there, woken ah. up from the sleep. I mean, that's impressive. <laughs> and then they woke up. Yes. <laughs> So what does the Quran say about Jesus then? Does the Quran no, no, mention? But, uh, listen, Jesus as a prophet. As a prophet, right? As a prophet, I mean. Yeah, same thing. But but three of these guys that were in the cave, I was reading, walked with Jesus, or maybe met different. with Jesus, different, or something. Different, different version, maybe. I mean. Uh, some, but this some, is what the Bible says. That I mean, I mean, yes. Uh, some people claim about this like a resurrection back to life again after 300 years, I mean. That, that who came back to life? Jesus came no, no, back no, no, to no, life no, 300? No, 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 no. For, for the guy, I mean, like we have, for the seven men. Oh, the seven men, and yes. after 300 years, they yes. came back to life. Back to life again. Ah, but th that's the same story as Jesus. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> huh. Are, are you Muslim? Yes, I don't practice so much. Ah. No. Okay, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, all the Bibles and stuff are interesting. One thing that I've learned here in Turkey is how much the Bible and the Muslim religion are connected. It's like, it's like the same book, but they just kind of add in more people or take away more people. Uh, I think some change. Every book, something from each other. Plus, I mean, three, four thousand years. Imagine from Torah to Bible to Quran, you can find something in common, right. similar to each other. Oh, I, yeah. mean, I mean, a lot. Something. Right. But mainly the books were designed so to get everybody to pay taxes <laughs> for the Roman Empire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tithe, tithe, tithe. Pray, pray, tithe, tithe. That's all it is. That's all it's about. Because yeah. the Roman Empire back in the day, yeah. you know, when you look at all the history and stuff, it was so easy to kill people. Yeah. And then who cares if you died? No one had anything to live for back then. You know, if you killed a, a, a king's daughter or a king's son, shit, you were, you, you were, you were the talk of the town for a hundred years. You know, but now... All the, you know, or the Romans back then, they didn't want people to die. So they had to come up with another scenario to police the world, you know, to let you, let the human mind practice and think that, oh, if you kill, you will go to hell. <laughs> if you kill, you won't go to heaven. <laughs> but, you know, it's so amazing how all the kings and military and everybody else, they keep killing, killing, killing. And then they use their... The Bible or the Quran or the religious books or anything to be like, oh, I'm going to heaven because I'm doing good for my, I'm doing good for my community. I'm doing good for my, my land, the land of the free or something, you know, and it's crazy. How are you able to go to heaven or something, but if, if just a normal civilian kills somebody, oh, you're going to hell. <laughs> you know, even the way, this is how people still think, and it's crazy. Like, why? <laughs> you know, if I kill somebody, and just because I'm not in the military or something, what, what, what difference does it make? 
It's the same thing. If I kill somebody, I kill somebody. There's no difference. <laughs> you know, but everybody's so brainwashed these days, you know, and they think like, oh, I'm going to join the military and I can kill people for free. And wow. I'm still going to go to heaven because I'm doing something great for the government because I'm killing all the terrorists. <laughs> But the, the terrorist is the same thing as the COVID-19. It's all a bunch of bullshit. You know, America just keeps attacking all these villages. America, England, other countries, they attack these villages. You know, and these kids have no parents. So they brainwash these kids. They brainwash them thinking, that, you know, the Quran, the, the, the bad Quran, the, you know, where everyone thinks like, you know... Like in America, there's like, there's like uh, two versions of Quran. You have your bad Quran, and then you have like your good Quran. Like the bad Quran is where they think like, oh, if you kill somebody, you're gonna go to heaven and get thirty virgins. You know about this? I mean, there's a different way they comment to people. I mean, like right, right, right. Smaller. This is the reason why. Right. I think you never learn the truth. <laughs> the first, first original for the book, I mean, I all lost, you know, some change on them later, by the people. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, the original books was all about the nature, the sun and moon and stars. Yes, of course. Of course. You know, I mean, if you look at all the history, you know, even like Christianity, it talks about the sun. The sun, the son of Jesus. Well, it's, 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 it's the talking about the sun. The God over there, the sun, you know. Right. Without the sun, yes. there is no life. Yes, true. A absolutely there at all. There is no water. There is no water, there is nothing without the sun. Yes. And the same thing for the moon. Without the moon, there is no gravity. Yes. The moon holds the earth in, in its gravitational pull. Without the moon, we would all be floating around. Yes. You know, so there... Everything is, is in a sequence and everything is, is in its own God. You know, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, Mars, Neptune, they're all connected. Yes. Same thing as us, our lungs, our heart, our brain, our liver, our kidneys, everything is connected. If we don't have something of one thing, we die. You know, if we don't have a set of lungs, yes. we die, we can't breathe. Yes. You know, it's the same thing. Everything in this world is in a sequence. Everything is, everything is a yin and a yang, and everything has to be set perfectly. Yeah, yeah it's uh, one crazy world we live in. <laughs> that is for sure. We believe in the same sky. <laughs> right. But most we people... We live on the same sky, you know? Yeah, but the even... Same <laughs> even even what's get what's what's bad about the world right now is that city people don't see the sky. Yeah. They don't see the nature. Yeah. They don't even understand. City people are so huh, stupid that they 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 barely understand where water comes from. Yeah. They barely understand anything about the star system because they've never seen a star in their life. Yeah. There's either so much light pollution or gasoline pollution, smog pollution in the sky that they never see stars. They don't know how, how good the sun is to them. Everyone's wearing their stupid umbrellas. Or, they don't know that how is it good mother nature. Right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> mother nature is very not, good. We are not alone in nature. Animal, insect, fly, we live together. Right. Everything has to be in its sequence. Connection. A connection. Right. For sure. But. Yeah. This is the crazy world we live in, you know, so. Yes, of course. For to be more comfortable in our life. Some way, you know, we destroy. Uh-huh. We destroy, yeah. So let me ask you a question about. when, the, when in, Inside there, when they dig it, the water well. Uh-huh. And then they make the pipe. Do, do you know anything about the history of how they dug down? Did I they just did. dig with the shovel and I, until they hit water? You, you mean for artesian water, but in Ephesus? Yeah, yeah, the water well that went down. In early, as early as 300 BC. 
in their private home. There are deep, well, like 16, 17 meters deep. But, but Roman Empire, original, the water, we can see all around here. Imagine a distance, 20 miles long, 20 miles long. From different sources, they brought the water. You know, uh, no, they dug into the earth and hit the water pressure. I mean... You can see the pipes from the fountain in Ephesus you that mean go the down. You upper gate? Upper yeah, gate? Yeah, and Round the... Round cistern over there, but... And the, fount and the fountains yeah, go but, down into the ground. I know, I know, but uh, they brought the water from the river Marnas, five kilometers away, Derbent River. It is right now... Oh, the, so the water came down this way the, and came... They have an aqueduct, aqueduct. Then uh, they cross over the water from the aqueduct to the mountain. You see the mountain at the back? Yeah. On the wall, the mountain. Over that they have inside the wall, the pipe, water pipe, terracotta pipe, original. Ah. To carry water downhill, some part, some part like uh, 304 meters down, they have little arches. It's like a bridge to cross over the pipe to the city, to the cistern over there. Uh -huh. So in cistern, there are wells. They collected in there. But for example, how I can say like, when one well full, the second one get the water from the right, full one. Right, I mean, right, like, right, yeah. And that's where, that's where the fountain is, yeah. where the water would fill up the fountain, the water would come out of the fountain. Of course yes, but the most key point for Roman aquatic system, water system, or water engineering, gravity. Right, gravity, gravity right. Gravity. They were very good at it. Right. The so, so, statistical account. I right, mean. so so it's not like they... Look at this BMW, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they... Like, like a normal modern well, like today, where you drill a well down 100 meters no, 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 and you like, hit water not, pressure. Not like, not like Oh, not like that. Not like I see. So they just, yeah. they fed the water from another river yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. pumped it. Pumped it. You know, maybe had a windmill, yeah. like a, a wooden yes. windmill, yes. and then, pumped the water. You, know, uh, you have been Ephesus, every corner of city, different corners. I've you been been find, all over Turkey and and, and you see can so find much. The fountain, fountain, down the city center, the fountain for water. It is the most important thing in the life of people. You know the water. Right. Yeah. And they were very good at far away distance. Huh. Well, yeah. Even like you said, they. This is the second biggest port come oh, from yes. the Alexander the Great in Egypt port. There's Alexandria. Yes. Alexandria. Yeah. Crazy. So this was the second biggest, but right now it's like kind of closed off and there's no water because of all the earthquakes and stuff that's happened. So there's a big fountain in town up here. <laughs> and this water from the river behind us went to this town too? Uh, but in the city center of Selçuk, we have an aqueduct to carry water up on the east side for another city of Ephesus. It is coming from the village of Shirinje. Ah, uh, the, the wine of, village. Yeah, that uh, Greek village, uh. Greek Orthodox in religion. When uh, in 1922, after the First World War, the war of independence for Turkey, there were an exchange between Turkey and Greece, population exchange. I mean, did you record all that? <laughs> yeah, I'm still recording. I am, I am famous in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, this is, Selçuk. Selçuk. this is good, you know, people, people need to know history, people need to know things, you know, the truth about things, because uh, without friend. history, it's going to fade away. Thor, the business upside down, my friend, right now. We don't know what we are going to do. Freedom well, is over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, difficult. But, for everybody, but, not for me. <laughs> but YouTube is not over. <laughs> <laughs> Some way we are trying to survive. I, I have Turkish group over there. I am waiting at, at, in Ephesus for guiding for group over there. If we are lucky, they some Turkish group. The, the foreigner group, not really. Some people from, if they live in Turkey, like students 
or teacher like you know right who yeah. works in Turkey sometimes they come but it's different we need somebody from US or from oh, other yeah, countries for sure, yeah. to go for right no the whole world is hurting trust me yes. even America know, is hurting right now it's crazy at what's going on did it finish with what the protest no it's with still going on it's still going on mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but right now the media is kind of getting a little bit more quiet about it uh, and stuff. Finally, yeah. Yeah, finally, you know. They'll concentrate on something else because right now they're concentrating more on the Trump rallies. It's all about political, you know. It's, 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 uh, you election, know, election. it's election year, yeah. Same in heaven. You know, it's just crazy, you know. It's just crazy how brainwashed people are that they can get so brainwashed to destroy their whole town. And then they say, hey, we need help. We need food, we need water. Oh, we're crying. Oh, you're stupid. Why would you destroy your whole town, you know? A bunch of monkeys just running around, destroying everything, like not caring for anything, crazy. But I'm sure the media will come up with something else soon or Something else will happen very soon. And then it'll be just more chaoticness, you know, but right now the thing is is the world is crumbling. Yeah. The world is falling down rapidly. Yeah. And these these countries like okay, like poorer countries like Turkey, Asia, you know, uh, -huh. uh even like Russia. China these countries are still very cheap yeah. so it doesn't cost much if you lose your job because people can still eat for a dollar or two dollars here you know you very you cheap right but in very expensive countries you, you know you like Europe America no way these people so many businesses are going to go under because okay Turkey you have a you have a big business like this Maybe maybe cost one thousand dollars a month to rent the building. In America, yeah. that same company will cost ten thousand oh. dollars. Yeah, ten times more. If not, and that and that's in a city like this. If you go to like New York City or something, that building there will cost twenty five thousand dollars for a month. Same in Istanbul. Istanbul expensive. Yeah. Little, little town cheaper in life for food as well. Buying clothes. Right. Different. But one, one other thing about difference between Asia and, and, uh, and at least America is that in Asian countries, you have your businesses are much smaller here. Yeah. You have a small coffee shop, you have a small little yeah. restaurant, yeah. a small cafe. Small, a, guy, yeah. small, 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 small. And in America, it's big, 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 big corporations. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Merhaba. <laughs> Recording like crazy here. But yeah, in, in America, you know, it's very big, big corporations. Uh -huh. You know, like a Starbucks isn't, isn't just some like small coffee shop in America. It's a big, big place. Uh -huh. So these, these big businesses, you know, from capitalism, they still, they can't, they can't afford to keep paying $5,000 a month for just rent. I see, I see. You know, you, you still, you're not even including insurance that a business has to have no matter what. Uh -huh. you, you have to include uh, taxes. Mm -hmm. You have to include uh, your, your market strategy when you start back up already is gonna cost a lot. And then look at all these businesses. You, you talk about huge businesses, like huge restaurants and stuff. When everything just shut down, everyone has big, huge freezers full of food. <laughs> You're talking $10,000 of food or, or more that they lose right away. Bam, done. It's not like that they can keep this food stored or frozen because they have to meet all the guidelines. In, in America, you have guidelines for everything. Like you, you, you have so many guidelines, not like Turkey. You have more freedom here, you know? Like, if you own a shop or something, you can put your food in a freezer here. No one's going to say anything. It's frozen food. But in America, oh no, it's past three months date. So <laughs> you have to throw it away. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. 
and uh yeah it's uh it's definitely hurting the whole entire world the whole world is crumbling down but okay i'm signing off here it's 30 minutes so <laughs> subscribe to me good friendship walking back to the uh, yeah 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 thank you where do you stay here uh, i stay over there here yeah and hotel you mean 